In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of Facebook ad payment failed, but the money is deducted from your account. Sometimes you may try to do a payment like what you are seeing here. It shows very well that the payment status is that the payment has failed. The two times it tried all, it has failed. But it will happen that maybe the first or the second one actually went through, but and the money is deducted, but it doesn't reflect on the Facebook. So you see that uh, the payment has failed and the money is deducted. I will show you all the steps that you need to follow to make sure the right thing is done. Now, what processes can you go through? First of all, you have to double check to be sure that the money was actually deducted. And what do you, how do you do that? When you come to the payment activity section on your payment settings, like where I am now, for those who don't know how to go there, you come to your ad account on your ad manager, you click on the bailing symbol here, yeah. Then you click on billing and payment so it will bring you here now when you get here um you will go to you go to payment activity so when you come to payment activity you check the payment if you you if you think that these two payments as i can see here for example the monies were deducted if i suspect that one of them the money was deducted i have to check from my bank when did i receive the notification that money has been deducted on my account you need to know, you need to check that to know exactly when the money was deducted on your account. So, for example, if I come here and then click on this blue thing, now I click on it, it will open. It will tell me the details of the, the transact, uh, the, the time the payment, uh, they try to do the payment. The bailing reason is that they are claiming it's a manual payment, though it could be an automatic one. And then um, when you also check the date, it says March 14, 2024. The time was 7.51 a.m. So I have to check on 14 March 2024, 7.51 a.m. Was it the time that my bank gave me a notification that money has been deducted on my account? If I check and actually the money was deducted, but it wasn't that same time, then it may be that this amount of money, it, 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 it is not this particular transaction. Okay, But if I check and let's say that same time, the money was deducted and checking the amount it is exactly the amount that was deducted then it means that uh i have to probe it further because let's say at exactly 751 i i, I saw that money was deducted on my account and the amount that was deducted is what i am seeing here then i have to realize that the money was deducted but it failed to show yeah. so you have to come back to the payment activity section then go to so if you double check and you are extra sure that the money was deducted and sometimes there will be more than one failed payment you have to check all of them if i check this one too this one was what 750 so they tried at 750 and 751 so if i double check and confirm that the money was actually deducted i have to go to payment settings so you go to the payment settings now under payment settings you will see when you scroll down you will see need help get help so you click on get help. Now when you click on get help, it will say, what do you need help with? Is it a payment, a payment threshold or a payment method? Our problem is with a payment, a failed payment. It is not about the payment threshold or a payment method. So we go to payment. Then they will ask, uh, what do you need? What well, you need help with payment? Well, what does it concern? What it is, it is concerning what? Or what is the problem with the payment that you want help with? Then I need help with the field payment. I, why I was charged? How do I download the receipt? So look at all of them. So looking at all of them, um, this is the one that you I, you can select either this one or you can select I want to request a refund. Now let me add this. If you are actually requesting a refund, okay, it is good if you get a bank statement of your account with the debit card that is associated with your bank statement uh, with your bank account appearing on the statement and indicating the deduction that occurred at the time it, the, the transaction occurred on Facebook. So you must make sure you have that document because if you want them to refund the money to you, you need to make sure that you have all those documents. So let's say we are trying to request a refund. So you go to request a refund. They will ask you, so here they are saying that couldn't find payments for this account. Couldn't find payments for this account. So they are 
just trying to say this one there was no actually any failed payment with money deducted but if a situation happens like that even if you come here and they don't show you the payments for you to be able to ask a refund you can come back again and then try um need help with a failed payment then these two failed payments you can let's say i'm taking the first one then um they are saying that uh the payment was declined by your payment provider because you reached your credit card limit pay now no let's say i still want to contact facebook support so you come here and click on contact facebook support and then you can write the description here you can add a screenshot of the field payment you can also attach a bank your bank statement indicating the deduction and after that you send it then when you send it they will receive it and in investigate it and will respond to you in your facebook support inbox so this is how you go to facebook support inbox you go to your facebook profile then go to help and support go to support inbox so at the support inbox if you fill the form and actually submit it everything whatever happens they will send uh the reply here when you come to support inbox you will see the reply here and the date will be attached so that if it's a recent one, you will notice it. Now, because I am just demonstrating for you to understand, I will not actually submit this form. So um, if you actually have that problem and you follow, you'll be able to do it. If you follow that and you don't get a solution, you can initiate a live chat support with Facebook's team and they'll be able to help you. How do you do that? I have done a video earlier on that. You can check the link above or you can check the link in the description on how to contact Facebook live chat support and they will help you get your issues resolved. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Remember to sub subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for other more powerful videos like this. Thank you so much. And you can also follow the WhatsApp link in the description. I've done, I've left WhatsApp link and Telegram links. You can follow it to contact me so that I will help you get your issues resolved. But remember, um, we charge for some of these services. So we may charge you, but when you pay, you'll get your issues resolved. Once again, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.